There's the leader, the manager, that literally trains his people to be three times better than him or her. Do you know why? Because they're a leader. Leaders make leaders. Hey, ride with me if you ride with me, you can slide with me if you feel. If I got a leader in the room, if there's a manager listening to me right now, listen. There's two types of managers. I want you to listen to this. Somebody that gets hired as a manager, okay? And he was very talented, but he never made his people better than him because he wasn't a leader. And then there's the second. There's the leader, the manager, that literally trains his people to be three times better than him or her. Do you know why? Because they're a leader. Leaders make leaders. As I'm talking to you guys today, what I want to tell you is this. You want to go to another level? One thing's got to happen. You've got to acquire more skill. Now, I'm going to say something before we get into this, but look, you guys all buy stuff, right? Everybody in this room buys stuff. Everybody. Hey, look at my energy. And some of you guys are like, hey, Andy, you know what? You have just a little bit more energy. You're in another country. No, 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 no. That's an excuse, okay? Let me explain something to you. Look, when people buy something, let's go to this Andrew Stitch right here in the middle of the room. Let's go right here. All right, let me ask you a question, Andrew. Crank up your uh, your volume just a little bit so I can hear you. Andrew, I said whenever you go to buy something, do you normally buy something when you're in a good mood or in a bad mood? Good mood. Okay, let me ask you a question. Is it, is it easier for you to get in a good mood when you're around people that are passionate and excited about what they're doing and are having a great day? Or is it, is it easier to be in a good mood when you're around people who are like a coffin walking around the dealership asleep, okay? That are constantly, I'm just gonna say this, not excited and not passionate about their job. So here's what we know. We know in order for someone to get in the state to want to buy something, what do you guys do for a living? You guys sell stuff. Every single person on this, on this Zoom meeting sells something. Every single one of you. I don't care how much you know. Don't care. I don't care what you do, how acknowledgeable you are, how long you've been in the company. If you don't have a good mood and you're not alive, motivated, and you're willing to push that into the customer, will the customer want to buy and be in a good mood? No. You have got to get excited. Look, I'm looking at some of you guys right now. Guess what? I see you. I want you to understand something. You want to close every single customer. You want to line up 10 people, close 10 people. Watch this. I don't care if I'm dealing with you face to face or I got you on the phone. Look, flags are flying, people are buying. I'm having the best day of my life. I assure you, you've never met anybody in the world like me when you speak to me. How do they sound when they, how do you sound when people speak to you? Do you sound like you're at McDonald's? You guys got drive throughs around there, right? You know the drive throughs Andrew, you know those drive throughs People pull up and they're like, yeah, what would you like to eat? And then the person says what they want to eat. And then they say, okay, cool, pull to the next window. Is that what you sound like? Or when people call you like, hey, hope you're having a wonderful day. This is Andy, how can I help you? Oh my gosh, who do I have the pleasure of speaking with? Oh my God, that's my dad's name, beautiful name, love it. That's my mom's name, wow. Dude, I love it. I feel like we've known each other for a lifetime. By the way, where are you calling from today? What's going on? You know what I mean? Hey man, that's a great pick. Oh my gosh, you're calling about that BMW? Have you had the chance to drive one? Let me ask you this. Are you finding out where your people are at in the buying funnel? Or are you just handing out information? I want to say something to everybody. If your people aren't in a good mood, they're not going to want to say yes. At the end of the sell, if you don't sell them, it's your fault. Period. Stop blaming it on other people. I line up 10 people, I'm going to close 10 people. That's it. What do you say about you? Or if you line up 10 people, you're going to close 10 people. I've stick, I've been jugging jams like wholesale. Everything must go sale. Hitting bitches with the old well. Need a hundred million on the low scale. On my worst night, on the best 